Okay guys, now that we have the door with the mesh on it, I'm going to show you how to attach the door to the actual frame. And by doing that, pretty simple. Grab your magna latch that came in the mail and open it up. You just pour everything out to the side. Okay. And once you have everything out, what you're going to do first is this. You're going to grab these spacers here. I, call, I don't know what I call them spacers. I don't know what they are, but I call them spacers. And basically, you're going to use this to kind of lift the door up evenly with the frame. So I put two here, and I'll put two up here somewhere against the frame. You know, pretty simple. And then what we'll do is grab the door, and we're going to line the door up on top of the spacers. And what's important here is this. You don't want to put the door all the way down touching this. You want to have it about a quarter of an inch to three-eighths up from the bottom bar. You see how that is right there? You see the gap distance? You don't want this door rubbing against the bottom part here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to install the, the spring latches. There's two of them. One's going to go up top and the one on the bottom. This is the bottom part and this is the top part of the actual spring latch. So what we're going to do is take the first one and kind of put it on the bottom here somewhere. It doesn't have to be perfectly all the way down. I like to go in between the two screws um, they, they do have self-tapping screws that come with it. I'll show you how you can use them. You can also use these when you pre-drill these uh, doors if you want to, the holes in the doors. But basically, all you're doing is this. It has a flat bar here. You're keeping it flush against the uh, side of the frame. And you're going to just put these two screws in first. Like that. There's one. And here's the other one. Okay, and I like to drill these with my drill. Um, what you do on this now, we're going to drill the other two to connect it to the door. Line it up to where it's in the center of this molding strip here. You'll see there's a line there. I like to drill right on that line here. I'm going to pre-drill these two holes. Makes it a lot easier pre-drilling them. The self-tapping screws have a hard time going through the, uh, these holes. So what we're going to do is just take two more screws and just put it on. And as you do this, you're going to notice when it tightens up, it's going to actually lift the gate. There. That's the bottom part. Now we're going to do the top part. We'll grab four more screws. And we'll come over here. And again, I like to line it up on these spacers if you can. Make sure the screw's up top. I like to go in between the screws. So we're going to put that there. Um, we can do the self-tapping ones for the first two if we want. I think my drill's about to die, so... I don't know if I charge the other battery. So what we'll do is we'll just pre-drill it with these. Again, line them up in the center of the molding. Like that. these two holes. Okay, see how I did that? Now we're just going to put the screws in and it should lift the gate up a little bit like the bottom. There's your lift and there you have it, your spring latches now on. Okay, clean your little area here, get all the flakes off. Okay, now that your springs and latches are on, we're going to install the right side, the locking mechanism. And so we'll come on the right side here and we'll start off with this little, whatever you call it. Okay, we're going to start here. And this goes up top here, flush, like that. See that? It goes against that. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is this. We're going to drill this hole here. Okay, clean off all the flakes, grab a screw, and put it on. Pretty simple, okay? You can also put a uh, drill a hole here if you want and put one on the side. That's up to you. You don't really need to. If you want to, that's, that's okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to grab this long stick here, the locking stick, and unlock it. We need this part here, so lift up this knob. 
It was already unlocked. Lift up the knob and take this part off. This goes on the actual door. So what we're going to do with here is this. We're going to line it up in between two screws here and see where we want to put it, which looks there, looks good there, okay? Before we do that, we're going to take this. Actually, I'll do this first. We're going to install this, like I said, right here. I'm going to pre-drill these two holes like this. Now take your time on this because you do not want to press the mesh that you already trimmed, okay? So, so after you pre-drill these two holes, okay, go ahead and take two screws and let's secure this. Let's, let's secure it onto the door like this. There's one. There's two. There's also a couple of holes here that you can drill if you're not comfortable with those. I am. I usually don't put these on here, but you can put two here. Okay. Once you have these two pieces on, your third piece is this bracket here. That's going to line up with this closing part like that. See how I did that? So basically, we're going to drill these two holes here like this. And you can also use your self-tapping screws. Now what I do is this, I just kind of put this in, not all the way down, it kind of just holds it into place while I make it flush. I, I squeeze it in like this to make, make sure it's flush. And we'll uh, put the other screw in. Now this one we can make nice and tight. And we'll come back and tighten this one up. And there you have it. Now, you, what we're going to do next is this. We're going to take this long stem here, and we're going to slide it over the top of this and slide it down to the other one. Lift this door up a little bit, and we're going to line it up to where it should lock. Like that. Okay? Once you have that, you're going to come over here and lift your door up. Okay, and we're going to make sure that this lines up like this, okay, which it does. Once you see how it's a little tight, we still have to make a couple adjustments so that it closes right. So now, the way to do that is this. Once it's open, you see how it's not closing yet? It's not really um, wide enough. Pretty simple. Get your drill and open it up, and you see that screw right there? We're just going to slowly... Reverse it out. See how it's coming out? Okay. And we're just going to line it up to where it closes the way we want it, which is like this. See how we did that? Make sure nothing's rubbing. Everything's good. We still might have to make one more adjustment, but we're going to leave it like that. That kind of looks pretty good right there. After you get it to that point, go into your baggie here and You'll probably have a lot of extra stuff here. You're going to see there's two caps here, like this. These two caps, they'll go over these holes here, over where the, uh, the door part of the screws. You kind of just put them over it, press them on. Makes it look a little bit neater. And then also you're going to notice this little screw here. See that little screw? This is what's going to hold this so it doesn't shift it, it will stay in place so basically just take it and put it in one of these slots here whoa almost dropped that one and put in one of these slots here like this pretty simple so that way it doesn't now this is going to be locked right there now there's one more adjustment we're going to do as you notice your gate it's still not really springing. See that? So let me teach you how to make your last adjustment. You come onto this side here, and there's actual instructions on how to do it. We're just going to do it. Take these top two screws off, like that. And this, at this time, you can remove that white piece of paper. And once we do that, you'll notice there's a positive and negative on top of there. Let me get my screwdriver. So 
sorry about that, forgot to get my screwdriver. And what we're gonna do is this. All you're gonna do is stick the, stick the screwdriver in and press down. And as you press down, just turn it to the left and you'll feel it click. There's one, do it again. Feel it click is two times. You can feel how it tightened the springs. Do the same on the bottom. There's one, there's two. Now come back over here and let's see if we have enough spring, which we do. See how that spring is in there now? We know the door is gonna close when you open it up like this and slam shut, okay? But what you wanna make sure is it closes when it's this open. That's a sign of a door that's gonna close. So there you have it. There's the self-closing gate by Safety Guard Pool Fencing. It's the best gate out there on the market. I wouldn't recommend any other gate. Some of those other gates have double poles on each side, and it's just a nightmare. It always comes out of adjustments. You have to drill the holes when you install it a certain way. This gate right here, you just drill those two holes on the bottom. This gate plops into the ground, and it closes and shuts perfectly every time. It's the best gate on the market. So uh, appreciate you watching and enjoy your uh, safety guard gate.